Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Schroeder from Big Brother Seasons 11 and 13, and I'll be doing live Big Brother chats right here on CBS Connect every Friday. With me today is Evicted House guest JoJo from last night, and we'll be taking all your questions that you guys want to ask her. So. I have the first question, Jojo. Okay. First of all, sorry for what happened last night. Oh, thank you. You know, I I, yeah. I feel your pain definitely. Yeah. But but this question I'm gonna ask you is a little off Big Brother. It's not Big Brother related. Okay. I just want to know about oh, the neck okay. thing. I was wondering when someone was gonna ask me about this. Well, how does that okay. work? It's called a microdermal. It's not a piercing. Basically, what it is, I like to call it. Um, they use like a human hole puncher, and basically what they do is they take out a little piece of your skin. So there's basically a hole there, like a tiny little hole, and then it's like this little metal piercing that looks like an upside down T and they insert. So it goes in there and then yeah. it's kind of like a button? Yeah, it goes just through one layer of skin. So it's not that deep. So it doesn't bleed? Um, No, it didn't bleed. It healed in like two days. Would it bleed if it you got even it caught hurt. on something it and it yanked off? Hurt. Yeah, actually it did in the house. It didn't yank on. I think I slept the wrong way and half of it came out. So somehow I was like freaking out, but somehow like I put I put it back in, like I stretched a little bit of the hole out. Yeah. And then you just um, twist the diamond on. Mm -hmm. I got it. It's cool, definitely yeah. cool. But Thank you. I was like, what if that thing gets caught? Yeah, on something that's or what something? I was worried about with the competition. So I don't know if you know, guys noticed for the first H O H and for the veto, I had to put a band aid over it. Oh, you did. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't want that happening. You don't want that. No. All right. Well, let's start taking some questions from you, all the right. audience. All right. Awesome. Yes. So the first question was for me, obviously. Okay. So this one's from Good Rob. Question. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. The first one's from Rob. Okay. What's the biggest? Hey, Rob. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Get it going. What's the biggest thing you've learned during your time in the Big Brother house? Uh, biggest thing that I learned um, was that I'm really, uh, people used to tell me this before, but I guess now I know that it's true. I'm not really a good listener. Um, Are you listening to me right now? I'm listening to you, but like when people would just start talking about their lives, like my mind just would drift <laughs> off, you know? And that was one thing that Jen actually told me about myself. She's like, you know, I don't think you really took the time to like get to know a lot of people in the house, which I granted- well, you took the time you just weren't listening to them. Uh, yeah, or I was pretending. I was like, I pretended <laughs> I cared, I guess. You know? So are you surprised um, that you're out this early? I'm very surprised, yeah. I mean, coming into it, I didn't think I was going to be out this early, but the way things worked out last week, I'm not surprised. I knew once I got nominated, it was definitely going to be me or Shane, without really? a doubt, if one of us didn't win the veto. Um, if neither one of us won the veto, it would have been Shane. He was like the number one target because he's mm -hmm. such a huge threat. But once he won that veto, I knew I, was, I knew it was over. You, you didn't know? think you had a chance against Danielle? I thought I had a chance, and I've, you know me, I'm not gonna go down without a fight, and I'm gonna try to do whatever I gotta do. But Dan, her coach, just you know went to bat for her. You know she didn't even do any campaigning. Like I don't know what he did. What about your coach? Um. I mean, she did a little bit. I mean, she gave me some advice, which I did not take. And now I'm like, hmm, should I have taken her advice? But I knew if I would have just sat back and stayed quiet that either way I was going to go home. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just try. At least I know I tried, you know, because I don't want to play Big Brother What If, you know? Oh, what if I did? So no regrets? No regrets. The would only you... regret I have is trusting Willie. All right. That's well, it. that's all right. That's, yeah. He's on your team, you know, so it's kind of yeah. something you have to do. Yeah, exactly. In a way, you're kind of forced in that position. Exactly. Like, we were forced to be put in an alliance, basically, the first night, you know? Right. Even, I mean, that's how, that's how it goes. Would you go back on Big Brother if you had the chance? Oh, yeah, definitely. You'd do it again? Oh, yeah. I would do it over and over. Like, I love it. I love the show. I love the whole concept. Um, I do a few things differently, not trust people so easily. All you right. Know? Well, we got another question from Laura. Okay. Laura said, you think Brittany helped your game or hurt your game? Um, That's a good question. I want to know, too. Uh, she could have helped probably by winning the coaches challenge. Like, she had it down, and then she just dropped the money out of nowhere. Um, you know, How about I, overall the I, coach, I mean, I'm like gonna, her gameplay? Um... I don't know. I, I I only have myself to blame. I think you know. Um, That's honorable. Yeah, I, she did give me advice. I don't know if it was the right thing to do. She did tell me to kind of tone it down a little bit. I know yeah. I'm just loud. Like I have to be me. Um, well, you said Dan like campaign to keep Danielle in the house. Yeah. So that's that in essence would be a good coach. Yeah. So I, Brittany 
What did she do that for you? I love Britney. She's great. I think she could have brought more positive energy. You know, mm-hmm. she was kind of like a Debbie Downer at times. And I think, <laughs> I think, you know, I love the girls. Uh, you know, Britney, I love you to death, sweetheart. But um, she's not listening. Yeah. Well, whatever. You could give it to her. For okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, she kind of like had this negative energy like the last few days, and like that's just not good. And I was like, okay, she told me she was going to go talk to Boogie and try to work out a deal, and then let me know what they want. And then I was going to go talk to them, but I just didn't want to wait for her t- to go talk to him. So I just went up to Frank and talked to him myself and told him to talk to Boogie, see what their team wants to All do. All right, now you lost me. We're okay. going to go to the next question. <laughs> All right, Carla. If I do know- that, tell me, because I just ramble sometimes. Remember how you said you weren't listening before? Yeah. That was kind of me right now. I was like, man, I got to get to the next question. Yeah, okay. No, I'm just kidding. No, no that's I'm fine. Kidding. Next question. Because <laughs> I didn't, I was kind of didn't know what to say with that one. Because. Okay, you know. Carly wants to know again, you kind of touched on this. How do you feel okay. about Willie being expelled from the game? Okay. Um, I'm, we'll touch on this a little bit more. Yeah. Do you think it was fair? Do you think everything, the way he was expelled? Oh, the way he reacted? It right. was so fair, you know? Like so you it, think it was justifiable that he oh, had Oh, yeah. I knew for a fact once he was going into that diary room, he wasn't going to come back. Okay. You know, you, that's the number one thing that the producers tell us. No violence. You can't touch anybody. And right. he went overboard. Not only with his words, but then what he did to Joe. And then, I don't know if you guys saw, he took pork rinds and threw them at Janelle. He did? Yes, he did. Yeah. Which Ian saved them. (laughs) Ian saved the pork rinds? He picked them up off the floor and put them in a baggie. Is he going to sell them on eBay or something? I think so. Oh, man. Yeah, as Ian would say, eBay gold. Do you like Ian? I do. I didn't think I would, like get along with him that well I'm like oh god he's like so not my type of person that I get that I hang out with back home but Ian grows on you he's such a sweetie he knows who he is stays true to who he is and I can only have respect for someone like that I like you know? Ian I like him he's a yeah. little bit quirky but uh yeah I mean I'm not in the house with him I know it's a totally different experience once you're in there with all these people but mm-hmm. uh, he's yeah. growing on me too I like yeah him. he grows on you yeah. um a little too smart for me he would have all these geography conversations and questions and I was like I'm not even going there. I'm like, that's all you right there. I can't even jump in on that conversation. Well, I just like, well, whatever. I, I don't want to get all into Ian here, but I'll take all another right. question yeah. from Autumn. Let's go. If you would have stayed longer, would you have had showmance with Shane? Okay. Uh, the number one question. Um, not really a showmance because JoJo does not fall in love. and it's You kind of like, just stuttered there for a second, though. What, did I? Yeah, you really? were like, oh. Uh, no, I, I don't fall See? in love. Stop! No, because it's like I, I do. He's he's. I like Shane. I do. Um, he was my best friend in the house, but you get lonely. You know how it is. You know, so it's nice <laughs> to get a, a massage here and there. It's nice to have someone to talk to. That's so important in that house. Um, I definitely would have made out with him. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I yeah. would have. But I would have done it like I would have. What I wanted to do was have like a secret showman and like throw everybody off. I told Shane, you know, make. Sure Sure you flirt with the girls in the house because you're obviously the best looking guy you know and it helps in case you need a vote I told him that the first week I'll flirt with the guys in the house even though I didn't have much so were you gonna to use it from. like for your game yeah or were you starting we were to gonna like use it for our, we were gonna use it for our game I wanted to use it for our, but you like our him game a little bit. but at the same time I, I would have been fun to make out it would have been fun to make out yeah even though he wears those puka beads what? 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 What do you mean? You don't remember in the beginning? Oh, of I didn't know what it, I didn't know what. I look called. at everyone's neck. I saw your thing, you know, oh, and I'm like, I'm like I didn't oh, that's know they cool. were called puka beads. I'm like, oh my god, beats. I love his style. He's himself, and I love it. You know, guy wears pink, and he rocks it well. He's a good-looking cat. You yeah, know? great eye candy. His body's awesome. We so love I to think tan. Maybe a, maybe a week or two more things would. Yeah, got if um he got HOH, a or if naughty? I did, not naughty, just. Like I guess PG rated. We would have just made just kissing, nothing more than that. Yeah, yeah. Because like of the said, cameras, it gets, a, it gets a little lonely. You know. There. Yeah, kissing and sexy massages. All right, keep that thought upstairs while I read the next <laughs> question. All right, Christine wants to know who do you think is going to win this Big Brother? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, you're in that house. You know, yeah. you got a pulse on what's going on. I think last week everyone handed uh, Frank five hundred thousand dollars. Basically, they made a mistake. They should have got rid of him when they had the chance. Really? Oh, yeah. He's a huge threat, not physically, mentally, social game. He came in there saying he was unemployed. Everybody was like, okay, what is he? Is he a surgeon? Is he a doctor? Like, he's super smart, you know? He just has pretty much every quality it takes to win this game. And then he's got Boogie as his coach. Don't you think it's it's early for a strong player like that just to charge through the rest of the game? Um, I mean, Shane, I guess, you, Shane's got yeah, the same quality. Shane, qualities, I think, think, also, yeah. 
th- I'm glad you said that. Shane, I think, also has all the qualities it takes to win, but it's like the house against him right now. Basically. Oh, is that how it is in there? Yeah, so, it was the house against me and him, basically. Well, me, him, and Willie, and then it was the house against me and Shane. So yeah. popularity-wise, you, you think didn't... Frank is in the house more popular than Shane? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, because of Willie, everybody just put... We already had a target on our back because we won the first HOH, okay? Mm-hmm. So we were a strong team to begin with. Then we had another target on our back because Willie was such a bully, and we aligned with him and listened to him, you know, and we voted to evict Frank last week. So. Right. So in Big Brother, it's always like the worst player comes at the top. Yeah. And it's like, it's and just, I told it's crazy, that to right? Willie, and he didn't listen to me. He was like, yeah. He's like, because we aligned with Janelle the first week. He's like, we're going to knock them out one by one. And I'm like, Willie, it's not going to be that easy. You know, the tide goes back and forth in this game. Like, it's not. And it's, I knew it's always it. from we went from the to highest first. to the lowest, like have not nominated. That's how it goes. You know? That's the swing. That's what makes it I interesting. I know. Oh, what, of course. What did you think about uh, Brittany's goodbye message yesterday? Um, it wasn't a surprise. She was kind of telling me that the whole time in the game, but I'm stubborn and I got to do what I got to do. Like, I don't listen to people. I just do what I want. You got to raise up for Staten Yeah, Island. exactly. That's just my personality. It's just who I am. You know, I was just like, I can't wait for her to go talk to him. I need to go talk to Frank now. I mean, I waited until um, the day before. Well, your life was on a line, so you had to do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm the type of person, like, and I, I said this in the show a lot, a lot of people were scared and just listened to their coach. I'm the type of person, if if I get evicted, I want it to be because of something I did, not because of what my coach did. And if I won the show or got far, I want it to be because of what I did, that I earned it, not so do you think my coach. Do you think that's what happened to you? Do you think it was your actions that got you out of the house, or do you think it was your coaches or other players that um, I think it was a little bit of everything from okay. the start we were targets you know um, obviously um, besides Kara I was the toughest competitor female competitor in the house um, and then the whole Willie thing and after even after he left everybody was like well you know everyone's associating you with Willie I'm like but he's not even here anymore you so know? You keep they were just touch? using that as an excuse I think to target me and Shane and just you're, try- you're still bitter about it a little bit Oh, yeah, so bitter. <laughs> Don't worry I about it. If, it's been if, years for me, and I'm still know, bitter. If so. Willie was st- still there, like I would, he was like, you know, it's going to be me and Shane on the block, and it's probably going to be hard for you to evict one of us to have to choose yeah. which one. And I'm like, no. I Are you going to keep in I touch with Willie? I would have evicted him myself. Willie? Yeah. Are you going to keep in touch with Willie outside the no, house? No, no. I really could care less. No, because I'm in this situation because of him. How about anyone else from the show? You oh, think yeah. you could let bygones be bygones? Yeah, and- yes, that I will let happen. Even Janelle, even though I know she was the one gunning for me this whole week, telling everybody. Really? Yes. Um, but yeah, bygones be got bygones. I will talk to everybody, but Willie, uh-uh. No. Who's going to be your new BFF from this season? Um, Shane. Shane? Five one vote. He stayed loyal to me. He Even pro- if he wears those he beads. He proves his loyalty. Even if he puts makeup on and we call him Shana. <laughs> Did you see that? No, no? I didn't. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, Kelly wants to know we're gonna take another question. If there were no coaches in the game, which house guests would you want to team up with? Okay, if there were no coaches in the game, it would have been a whole nother game. Right. You know, because a well, lot of people. Expect the unexpected, it's like right? they, they get so starstruck. It's like a lot of people are up Janelle's ass, Dan and Boogie's, and they, they just listen to everything that they said. You know? Were you and, starstruck? And didn't. Are no. you listening to me at all? No. 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 <laughs> I'm more starstruck by you than them. I wasn't really a fan of theirs. Really? Yeah. Were you So what, did you watch Big Brother before this? Yeah, I did. Um, um, just for the last few months, I tried to catch up as much as I could, yeah. you know. So, but you I never so that wasn't Boogie. really an issue for you. So you didn't care about them. So who, no, besides the coaches, who season. would you team up with? I never watched Boogies. I never watched Janelle's or Dan's. Um, but I've seen Britney's. Um, I probably <laughs> would have teamed up with Shane either way because we just, out of anybody, we have the most in common. He's so real, just like me, down to earth. We love to tan. We love to pull pranks and just laugh and be funny. Um, That's and what then it's for, I you know, have, that you're supposed yeah, to have fun Yeah, you in have to. You need that for your sanity. Absolutely. You know? And I would have aligned with um, Ashley, my East Coast girl, um, and Ian. Ian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think me, Ashley, Ian, and Shane would have been a great little alliance, you know? Cute little alliance, too. They would have been cute. Right? <laughs> you throw in a... Uh Throwing Will in there. Yeah, I would. Is Will's hair the as lustrous as it seems? The only thing is I don't trust Will. I can align with people I don't trust. He's ruthless. How's his hair, though? 
um, extensions. <laughs> Will? Yeah. Come on. Most of it. Most of it. Yeah, he's got a lot of extensions. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, it looks really I have really a good. few myself. Like, Jordan's very, like. But very little. Like a few, like literally five strands on each. This is all my lens. Who are you looking at? You can't even see anything I in don't there. know. <laughs> I don't know. The people? America? Hi. <laughs> Hey. All right. <laughs> Let's get going. I don't know what's going on here. Kathleen wants to know, you said you wanted to be real, not fake. Uh -huh. Looking back, you think maybe you should have, you know, toned down you a little bit? I guess so, but it's so hard for me to do that. I don't know how to be anything but myself. It's so much easier when you watch the show and then when you're there, it's it's, it's just different. different. I mean, I didn't, maybe not so early in the game, maybe down the line. I was fake a little bit where like, if certain people that I didn't like, I had to pretend I liked them, you know, yeah. like fake like that, but not fake where I, I hid my identity. Right. I made it and perfectly clear should. who I was, what you see is what you get, you know, like it or not, I don't care. I mean, that to me, that's the way you should be. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, you're not hiding anything. So I'm not there good. to impress people, you know? Okay, this is for me. Okay. Speaking of the real guy, can you teach me how to talk like a Staten Islander? Okay. So I guess they're asking me. You got you, it. Do you want to learn? A I, lot, do I learn. actually had a few people. Everybody in the house wanted to learn. Do I have an accent? Do you think? Um, not really. I'm pretty I'm bad trying to at lose determining it, but I don't think accents. It's the only accents I can tell are like Southern and like New York ones. <laughs> All right. Well, teach me. <laughs> okay. We're gonna start easy. We're gonna. <laughs> You're not my, a good listener. My favorite one. I know. Oh my teach goodness. Teach me to be a good listener. I'm trying. I'm like scolding. <laughs> hey, pay attention to me. Okay. All right. Now, All right. Well, do you remember the question? Coffee. Oh, I think say, I do. We, coffee. We say W a lot. Like, okay. Coffee. Like dog. We say dog. Dog. Coffee. Coffee. My say, dog's gonna go drink coffee. Yeah, there you go. That sounds good. And then say, "How you doing?" We don't pronounce the G. How you doing? How you doing? My dog's wired off coffee. <laughs> where you going today? Where you going today? Yo, where, what you doing? You stole my dog. I'm gonna throw hot <laughs> coffee in your face. What the f? Whoa. <laughs> no. They swear over there. Um, oh, just. Do you miss it? Just a little bit. Do I miss New York? Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, that's like all I'm used to. See, that's the thing. I know, like a lot of people aren't used to. It people like me. I think that a lot of people in the house can handle me. Really? You know? But they loved my accent. Like, Kara loved it. And then we had this thing. Like, the, everyone loved the way I said Kara. So then we just made it a joke. But like, Kara! Like, you have to stretch everything out. Alright, now let's try to go. I went to go get coffee with my dog, and someone there really got go. me mad. No, no, I'm trying to no, be proper. No, dog. Do it without an accent. Okay. <laughs> they were trying to get me to do this, too. Okay, wait, what was the line again? I'm, I'm going to get coffee with my favorite dog, Kibbles. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get coffee. <laughs> I'm going you to can't get say coffee. coffee. I don't like saying it like that, coffee. Oh, coffee. I'm going to get coffee. You work on that. I'll work on that. With my favorite next dog, Kibbles. All right. Kibbles and bits. <laughs> Good job. All right. Shayna wants to know which house guest you. Shayna! Tell her what's up. What's up, Shayna? Tell her you're going to get some coffee with her. Let's go do coffee. Get some sushi. <laughs> I don't know who you're looking at in there. I don't know. All right. Which house guests do you think are laying low or floating by? Oh, lots of, this is the season, going to be the season of floaters. Well, there's always that. There's yeah. always that. Who do you think the top ones are this Okay. Year? Um, Jen, as much as I love Ashley, Ashley and Danielle. The three girls that are left are definitely floating by. The only girls that had competition and uh, were me and Kara. And we're not there anymore. Um, out of the guys, I could see Joe as being a, a floater. I think his whole strategy is just cooking amazing dinners every night. How's his cooking? So is nobody really good? would want him to leave. I mean, my sauce is better. I made better sauce than him, <laughs> without a doubt. Are you Italian? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Just would a little you bit? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I thought. No, you know, Sicilian. 100%? 100%. Okay. I speak Italian. Oh, really? Fluently. I did say a few things in the house, yeah. Come and stay. Benny. Okay. Ti good. amo grande fratello. Grande fratello? Is that yeah. a, is that an order at Starbucks? It said, said I love you, big brother. Oh, grande fratello, yeah, big brother. <laughs> yes. I know poco. Is that Spanish yeah. or Italian? Um, I don't know. I think that's Spanish. Oh, yeah, un, un poquito, we say. Un poquito. Un poquito. All right. Uh huh. That was a good lesson. Yeah. See, we're, do, yeah. we're teaching you're each other stuff. Yeah, you're actually Italian's pretty good. Not bad. 
My mother was born there, but mm. we're gonna, it's not about me. It's about you. Uh, of course. All right. Of course. You think there were more twists? Do you think more <laughs> twists are going to come up in this oh, Big Brother yeah. game? Oh, yeah. I think it's like the season of twists. Well, every season is. Yeah. But, but like, I feel like there's going to be one like almost every week. And I hope what I said happened because... Um, what? What was that? I was, my pitch, what I was trying to campaign was to people that, um, like, you know, you're making a mistake keeping Dan here. You know, um, you have a chance to get rid of him. Why not? You know, it's right. a big move. That like, is a big they're move. They're free to make big moves like I don't know you're trying to get a two for one you know yeah like exactly like you know more food for people in the house <laughs> you know um, Danielle doesn't have to leave like dirty stuff all over the place you know if you had to predict a big twist that's coming up okay. do you think you could what would nail be a one? great twist would be since now Brittany is down to one player and um, Dan's down to one player and the other two teams have three take one off from the three from take one player off from Boogie's team and Janelle's okay. and throw them onto Dan or um, um, Britney's. So every t every coach is left with two players. Oh, well, that wouldn't be fair to I, the coach I know with you're not three that players. Good at math, but I'm not I, either. But. Wow, you're throwing stones at me. <laughs> no. All right. I'm horrible at math. I think I figured it out. I'm horrible, but yeah. I think that's a stupid I, it took twist. me a while to figure it out too, but why not? No, just to like screw them over and be like, now now Dan's got two players. Good luck with that. Do you know what I mean? Dan. Shouldn't have got rid of me. Tell him. Yeah. Well, you said, who am I looking at? I don't know, but you keep fixing your hair in there, and there's no am mirror I? that you're looking at. You're just well, looking at the Well, I didn't have screen. my straightening iron or curling iron this morning. All right. That's how I woke up with it. <laughs> what, do you think of, what do you think of Ian, uh, Ian and Ashley's slop date? Uh, so cute. So cute. Like, they're adorable. Ian gets all nervous around her, you know? And I think Ashley's awesome for making him happy. Obviously, she's not interested in him like that. You know? I know. But he got excited. But it's, yeah, she's making him happy. It's sweet. You He's know? a little cute. But um, it's guy. probably part of her strategy. You have the, the brains on your side. The ge right. The genius in the house. You little, know? Like you said, a little flirting, you know? Oh, Never hurts anything yeah, in that house. Never. And it's fun. And you used it. Yeah, even I kind of flirted with Ian a little bit, but he was scared of me. Ian, what? Well, maybe because you're so I, aggressive. I, yeah, you know? I intimidated him. Like, I tried to give him a hug once, and he was like, oh, oh okay. You know? Like, I'm like, Ian, I'm like, don't be scared of me. Uh, poor but guy. Then be he, friends with him when we get Oh, I love Ian. Then he finally opened up to me and got more comfortable, you know? Yeah. Because he even told somebody <laughs> that if it wasn't um, Ashley who went on the date with him, he thought I would have went on the date, that I would have been the only other girl who would have said If you were still in the yes. house, would you go on a slap date with him? I would have. One yeah. Word answer yes or no. Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. Carrie wants to know: Do you think is do you think it's unfair for Frank or the others to rip on you for sticking with Willie? Um. Yeah. Because you know what? They weren't in that situation. It's so much easier when you're looking at it from the other side. Right. And they okay. said, you know, everyone else on their team stuck with everyone else from yeah. their coaches' team stuck with their exactly. coaches. You know. So yeah. you think everyone it's unfair else, that? Yeah. It's so unfair. Everyone else stuck with their people. You know, right? Um, even though now it's kind of getting a little bit down to the wire because after this week they're gonna Boogie and Janelle's people they're gonna have to turn on each other because they have this little alliance, their final six. You know. So do you think? I mean, the coaches are they they can't play anything. Uh -huh. Who do you think is controlling more of the game? The coaches or uh, the players? The coaches, without a doubt. Brittany wasn't like that. She gave us advice. She guided us whether you took it or not. You know, right. it's up to you. The other three are just literally controlling their players, literally. And it's like they're, the players are scared of them. It's like they're scared to go and branch off and do their own thing. You know, they they keep insisting. Um, are you mad at your coach? Team. Are it's you mad at your team. coach for not controlling Willie maybe a little bit more? I, mean, I don't think anyone could have controlled Willie, you know? That's true. But they keep saying, it's not really teams, okay? It's the coach and their players. It's an individual game. You can go branch off and work with whoever you want to work with. You exactly. don't have to work with those people. You don't. You know? You're in there to win the money for you. Exactly. And why do you think Dan chose three girls, you know, for um, to be on his as his players? Why weren't you on Dan's team? You're he, a good-looking girl. Yeah, you know why he didn't pick me or Jen? Or Ashley, because he knew that we were the East Coast girls and we cannot be <laughs> manipulated, and you can't walk all over us. No, but every, that's the root. That was. I was the, just paying you a compliment that you but, were good looking, and he's uh, got some good looking well, girls on his you. team. Well, thank you. Thank you, by the way. See, we're going back to the whole listening thank thing you. again. No, I know. I just really want to get this out because a lot of people were saying that in the okay, house. Okay, fire it up. That it's like he picked three of the weakest girls because so that he can just literally guide them through the whole game, and they can just play his game, and he can just literally tell them exactly what to do. Well, he's and they would listen because he knows that they're not girls that are going to stand up for what they believe in and go do their own thing. Holy moly. And he knew not to mess with me. You but. sure do have opinions. Oh, yeah. That's good. Lots of them. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's take another question. What do you think of slop? 
Okay, it's really not that bad. The first night that we got it, I was not a have not, and I actually had a bowl when I didn't have to. And Boogie was like, I was like, oh, it tastes good. And I was eating it, and he's like, dang, he's like, you're an assassin. You know, I'm like, oh no. What about the pork rinds and pudding that you had to eat too? I was excited about the pudding, like, well, for the first two days, because I've right? been craving rice pudding. I love rice pudding. So I was like, yeah, I'm like, thank you, America. Pork rinds, uh uh. Not no. a fan of? No, definitely not. Um, if you could throw pork rinds at someone in the house, who would you throw them at? Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> right. so you have one Again. more answer for that one, huh? Yeah. All right. Easy. All right. Lindsay wants to know how is Big Brother? How is the Big Brother house different than when you've seen on television? Oh, okay. Well, it's a lot smaller, mm -hmm. right? It and looks, so are you. Yeah. Camera adds ten pounds. You're tiny. You are. Tiny. Oh, thank you. But well, good in a good yeah, way, you know. But you. Yeah. good things come in small packages. They do. Mm -hmm. um, and how else? It's really bright. It's bright in there. Well, really it's, bright. it's a television it was, show. Yeah, you know, but at night it's really dark. Like the have not room was pitch black. It's kind of scary. How about the backyard or the pool? Um, the backyard kind of looks, I mean, the couch was a little small too. Um, backyard's awesome. Did you think that pool was a little bigger? Yeah, I de yeah, everything looks bigger on TV. Right. Definitely. People, things. Mm -hmm. Shane's puka beads. Yeah. Do you I know what puka beads no, are? No, I didn't know what they are. I don't mean to and bring it up, but cute. you just so you he get so dumbfounded every time wearing. I say puka beads. He, I don't know what they are. You know the white things? We don't wear those in New York. I don't think anybody wears them. But unless apparently you're in they wear them in Vermont. If you're in Hawaii surfing, I think yes. you might be able to yeah, get away with it. Yeah, and he's so not the, like surfer kind of guy. No, but know? I don't mean to harp on him, but you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, I know the necklace. Yeah. I didn't know what it was called. I've seen him wear it. Right, I'm not going to mention puka beads anymore. Okay. So this is the last of the puka okay, beads. We're puka putting beads. them to rest. Okay, yeah. No puka beads. How do you say nope, puka beads nope, with a Jersey nope, accent? Or not Jersey, Staten Island. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no puka beads in New York, okay? All right. Puka beads. Tell hey. him to go somewhere with that hey, puka beads. Forget beef. about him. <laughs> 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 Who do you want to see evicted this coming week? Oh, God. Who? Uh, a few people. Okay, I'd be happy with Will, Frank. Actually, Will or Frank. Either one, I'd be extremely happy. Really? Do you think Will poses a threat? Or or one of the girls, honestly. Because well, you can only pick one. Okay. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you if there's a double eviction. How about that? If there's okay. two people, I'll give you two, but I can't make a triple eviction. Okay. All right. All right. So let's make it. Let's make it. You get Will, two people. Let's make it Will and Ashley. As much as I love the girl, she did not listen to me, and I kind of want her to see if she did. Like, I could have helped her. You know, like the girls needed me in this game. So like, you keep the powerhouses. They power are going in. down. All right. So on the flip side, who do you want to see win the game? Um, Shane. Shane. Five one vote. Loyal to me. I'm loyal to you. Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good to be like that. Last question for Jeff. What do you think about Big Brother 14? I think I think it's yeah, a great what season. What do you think? Well, you ask me. Jeff, what do you think? I don't know. I like earrings and stuff and uh, people around dogs and earrings things. and stuff. I'm just I'm answering like I wasn't listening. Big earrings. I was answering like oh, you. Okay. Did you get that? Oh uh, no, I didn't get it. All well, right, ask me the question. What, Bottom line, what I think right about. Right over. <laughs> I'm trying to be you. I'm not listening to the question. But what I think about Big Brother 14, I think it's a yeah. great season. I think. As always, the characters clash. Yeah. The twist, I think, is really throwing a wrench in the game, yeah. which is great because people can't figure it out and the coaches are running, but the players have to play for themselves. So I'm excited yeah. to see what happened. I'm very sorry to see what happened to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish you would have stayed thank it longer. You. you did bring a little bit of attitude. Thank but I you. just want to say thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you had fun I in the house, I and I hope blessed. you had fun here. No regrets except trusting Willie. Right. Yeah. Always leave with no regrets. Yeah, no, no. But you guys, as we leave today, we're going to say goodbye to JoJo. Thank her for being here. You guys, next week, we'll tune in right here on Big Brother Connect, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.